Hi, I'm Julie Crary from Elite Tutoring. Today we're going to go through a couple quick examples um, for algebra. And we're going to start with one that's a little bit more simple with just an x term. But then we're going to do two that are quadratics, so they'll have x squared terms in them. Okay, so when faced with a problem like this, we can look quickly and see that there's only going to be an x term. There's no x squared terms here. We're not multiplying any x's together to get an x squared term. So we're going to want to take all the x's to one side, so to the left hand side, and we're going to take all the numbers and put them on the right hand side, and then we can solve. So it'll be really simple. Whenever we see a bracket, we can first check and see, can we simplify inside the bracket? Well, we can't because it's an x term and a constant, so we can't combine those. So we're going to take the 3 and take it into this bracket. Okay, we're going to expand it out. So 3 times x gives us 3x. 3 times positive 2 gives us plus 6. Okay. Then we have minus the 4 equals 14. Okay. We keep all the x's to the left hand side, so we'll keep the 3x over here. Okay, and we want to simplify these numbers here because they're both constants. So obviously we can take positive 6 minus 4, that would give us plus 2. And we still have the 14 over here. We're not moving it because we want all the numbers to end up on that side. So we keep the 3x here again. Okay, and we have 14. And when we bring this 2 over, it's going to change signs. So it's no longer going to be a positive 2, it's going to be minus 2. Okay? So now we have 3x equals 14 minus 2 is 12. Okay? Now to solve, we have to isolate the x, right? Which is what we've been doing. So there's a 3 in front of it, we're just going to divide that 3 out. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So if we're going to divide 3 on this side, we have to divide by 3 on this side. These will cancel, that's why we did it, giving us just an x. And we just simplify this if we can. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, and that's our one solution. Since there was only an x, there was never an x squared, we're only going to have one solution. So anything with just an x term in it, is going to have one solution, and our solution is x equals 4, and I like to box that solution out. 